Now to an intense manhunt in Orange County that turned deadly. It began with an attempted traffic stop that led to a chase, fiery crash, and foot pursuit. In the end, police opened fire on that suspect, killing him. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis, live in Central Valley. Marcus. Indeed, Sandra, a violent end to a manhunt that went on for some eight hours today as state police and local law enforcement scouring residential areas, wooded areas near the New York State Thruway for, uh, again, hours until they located that suspect. This all began around 6 o'clock this morning when police tried to pull over a stolen car on the northbound New York State Thruway by exit 16. This is uh, the Woodbury Common exit in Harriman. The suspect sideswiped the uh, tractor trailer, then crashed into the median and fled on foot. Police shortly after that put out an alert and a photo for the man identified as Ali Ali to warn them that the armed and dangerous fugitive was in the area. The 28 year old wanted for a number of violent felonies in New York City. State police and local law enforcement began scouring the area near Central Valley. And at one point, an image was captured by a trail camera showing the suspect in the woods without shoes. Finally, after four o'clock, that suspect was located in the woods. A member of the state police opening fire, shooting and killing the suspect. For residents, a violent end to what was a tense afternoon. Well, the helicopters we've been circling and they had drones in the air. Uh, like I say, it's been going on for at least two and a half, maybe three hours or more. And then uh, they also had uh, more police down at the golf course at the end of Pine Hill Road in Central Valley. And this whole area, I mean, there's every possible law enforcement in the area looking for this guy. Well, during that surge, four schools were put on lockout, and there was a delayed dismissal for those schools in the Monroe Woodbury School District. Again, the suspect shot and killed. The investigation now underway, and the state attorney general's office will be leading that investigation, as is common practice with a police involved shooting that ends in a fatality. We're live in Central Valley. Marcus Solis, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.